Modern Factory Hot Rod. This is the 2001 Chrysler Crawler, Mulholland Edition. Chrysler's 3.5 liter V6 engine. Now this produces 253 horsepower. It's routed to an automatic transmission that's in turn routed to the rear wheels. Obviously the car stands out probably like no other. If you want to talk about curb appeal or just get attention, uh, this demands the attention of let's say a Lamborghini Murcielago. It's such a visual presence. Uh, this car was criticized when new for not being sporty enough, but when you consider the actual power and acceleration behind this car, you know a true hot rod, even though it might have had a V8 in it, was really made to cruise. It wasn't made to be a you know back road uh, handling sports car, but uh, you know it's an aluminum frame construction, so it's very lightweight. You've got a 17 inch wheel on the front, a 20 inch on the rear. It's a pretty neat car. I think uh, you know it's, don't knock it until you try it. We'll take a look. Let's take a walk around it. I would normally talk about condition, but I don't have anything to call out, so we'll just go over some of the uh, features and highlights. Everything is in factory brand new original condition. Uh, if you look at the suspension setup on the exterior here, I don't think this car has ever even seen a raindrop. Uh, it's in that kind of uh, shape. It looks like it was only driven on sunny days. I don't think the top's really been up much or seen the outdoor elements. But uh, you've got the exterior bumpers fitted to the front there. This uh, Mulholland edition, as it's called, was the special uh, blue pearl paint and the blue pinstripe as well that complements the car. You've got chrome wheels, and on the interior you have a blue inset into the gauge cluster. But uh, staggered wheel size, as I said, 17-inch uh, front here, chromes. You've got uh, Goodyear Eagle GSD uh, extended mobility tire. They're run flats. Uh, 225, 45, R17, and they feel brand new. I don't think this car's ever really been run hard. But look at the reflection in the blue paint all the way down. It's, a, you know, it's in excellent condition. Now on the rear here, you've got a 20-inch uh, rear wheel. This is a 295 40R20. Uh, once again, chrome. So, pretty significant uh, increase from the front. Uh, across the rear, you can see the twin exhaust outlets. That's uh, the factory standard exhaust, along with an added neon license plate frame for the rear of the car. And then the passenger side follows suit. Just look at the reflection going all the way down into the front fenders. For us tech geeks, uh, look at the setup of the suspension up here. I mean, that is race car style suspension, uh, actually more F1. And you can see that's an aluminum uh, structure. It's built on an aluminum space frame. Uh, that's pretty high technology, I mean, even for today's modern race or street cars, let alone race cars. There is a convertible top with this uh, prowler. And a little electric release here for it. Just fold the top up. Pop this back down. Right. Snap these in place. On each side, there's just a small little latch. And flip it on each side. And you're set. You've got some storage in the prowler. They did offer a uh, trailer as an option from the factory, but uh, this does have a car cover that comes with it. And you can see you got a little shallow storage area. And just to store the car cover, I'm sorry, the convertible top, it literally just drops right back in here. Just push it down past there, slam this closed. That's all it takes. You know, this isn't how a traditional V6 engine sounds, but the engineers at Chrysler really took their time in producing the exhaust nut for this car. Just take a listen. If you look across, you know, the car's only covered 9,000 miles in its lifespan, so you would expect a brand new interior, and it shows every bit of that. But uh, it's kind of a narrow step in, not that bad, but these seats are super comfortable. Uh, they're very well adjustable. You can actually adjust them for the rake, so you can kind of go into a uh, more of a sporty, kind of laid back seating position, or you can go, you know, just a traditional upright seating position. Tachometer right, in the, right at the front here, uh, speedometer at the center of the gauge cluster here. And again, this blue part, this surround is part of the Mulholland package. Steering wheel's large diameter and it really is reminiscent of, uh, you know, an old time, like a T-Bucket Roadster or something like that. You really do sit in a unique position. 
the visibility is very good forward. It's a little bit uh, confining just by the, the door sills here, but you really don't, you aren't limited. It's just more uh, perception, I think. What a cool seating position, though. You know, when you see the car coming from far away, all you really do is see probably about the top three quarters of the occupant's heads. Here you have the Infinity Sound System with the five-band equalizer. Uh, it's got a nice subwoofer actually mounted right behind the wall here. It does sound nice even with the top down on the highway. Got the auto stick here. This is a uh, automatic gearbox, but if you pop it down into the auto stick mode, you can see on here, right there in the uh, speedometer, you can shift through manually, uh, gear to gear. But uh, most people drive it and drive. It's just an added uh, neat feature to have. Uh, you do have air conditioning that keep you cool in the summertime, so it's not like you're uh, without creature comforts. But uh, what do you say we take this thing for a ride? the wheel of the prowler it's uh, it's actually pretty comfy once you're in it, it's pretty roomy I got more than enough leg room I don't have the seat all the way back I'm in a semi reclined position but it's a nice smooth automatic the car not weighing much gives the engine a very torquey feeling but it's lightweight you know the aluminum construction uh, definitely aids the handling the cool thing is you can actually watch the fenders turn uh, on the outside of the car as you drive but I don't think you can find them nicer than this I mean there's nowhere to the interior here. It's uh, a blast to be seen and you know we're just getting into convertible season here. It's a beautiful day in Chicago and I've probably been on the road for I don't know a handful of time here and what's been interesting is we've gotten a lot of thumbs up and what what is that and been pretty cool. But uh, it's definitely an experience not just to drive but uh, you know just to be seen in one. Pretty wild. I'm gonna head out in the prowler here. Shifts so crisply, but it feels like a brand new car. And when you really think about this, I mean, this is a pretty widely used engine in the Chrysler portfolio, so it's going to be a very reliable car with maintenance of an uh, average, you know, American sedan. Obviously, the tires will be a little bit more. I think the brakes will cost you a little bit more, but. Consider the fact that this car really has not depreciated. They're not making it anymore. They didn't make that many. Uh, most of the people that have purchased them new are keeping them. There's not that many really truly nice examples on the used market, but we're really lucky to have this car. I mean, the alignment's dead on. The brakes are super solid. It's been uh, been really well cared for. And the tires show virtually nowhere, which tells me once again that there really, really was a, a driver that loved this thing. How could you not? It's gorgeous. Instead of the exotic looks and the nature of the car and the way it drives and actual comfort you really do have, the Prowler is a pretty, pretty remarkable bargain. You also have the added satisfaction of having a very reliable and well used powertrain. This is the same engine that they put in the 300M uh, in 01. But uh, really excellent condition. It's about as new a Prowler as I've probably ever seen. And uh, the, the color probably is the best color combination in my opinion that they've made this car. In my hand, I got a great piece of information here. It's the Auto Check uh, History Report. Uh, this car does qualify for uh, Auto Check Buyback Guarantee. Uh, not a whole lot of information on here. Uh, just uh, no uh, title or problem issues. Uh, odometer check is consistent uh, as far as the uh, use records. Uh, doesn't look like there was ever even a lien against the car. Uh, but really, just a really clean, pretty, I hate to use that word, but it is a pretty car and just the presence it makes and the drivability and the fun, the fun you can have uh, behind the wheel of it. it makes it a pretty unique experience. You can check this car out on our website. You can see 60 photos of it at www.chicagocarsdirect.com or you can see the rest of our highlight reels that you'll find on YouTube. It's youtube.com slash chicagocarsdirect. Thanks for taking some time with us. We'll see you next time.